Hi and welcome students. In this Windows 10 tutorial, I'm going to show you how to sign in and out of OneDrive.com. So I've said in other tutorials how to sync up your Windows 10 desktop with OneDrive and link OneDrive to File Explorer, but occasionally you'll be on a computer that is not your own and you don't want to sync up a computer that is not your own with OneDrive that, because if they sign back in, then they would have access to your OneDrive account if that computer did not clear the OneDrive sign-in. So if that's the case and you're using a computer that is not your own, you're going to want to sign in on a web browser. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to sign in to OneDrive using Firefox here. And all you have to do is go to OneDrive.com and this is great because you're going to have access to all of your files that you would normally have access to, only it's going to be completely accessible from a web browser. So all you have to do is you have to sign into your OneDrive account. Now if you don't have a OneDrive account, I have a video on how to sign up for free and how to get an extra half gig when you sign up. So for now I'm just going to go to sign in and I'm going to sign in with my username and password and after I sign in you're going to see that it takes me to OneDrive.com okay and after it takes me to OneDrive.com it's going to one second let me type this in alright so after it takes me to OneDrive.com you'll see that this is the online access point for all of your OneDrive files now I signed into a different account than the one you saw before so there's only a couple files in this account but you'll see that when you log into here it'll have a list of all of your files now what I recommend doing when you log into OneDrive is going to this icon right over here and clicking this and choosing compact list I find this to be more useful at showing you not only the name of your files but also the date you modified the sharing and the size of those files so you'll have a list of files here that you can click on and download so once you get done using OneDrive from a guest computer it's very important that you go right up here to your picture in the top right you click on this and you sign out of your account. This will make it so that no matter what, uh, the computer will log you out of OneDrive so that nobody can have access to your files later on. Now, this is a big benefit of using the cloud because having this access point from a web browser makes it so that you can access your files from anywhere at any point as long as you have an internet connection. So hopefully this video has explained a little bit more about how to use OneDrive in a computer that is not your own. And if this has helped you, please give the video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video and have a great rest of your day.